Let's talk now about quadratic functions. Now the nice thing about most uh, everything in this set of lessons is uh, that it should be review, although we're going to talk about things just slightly differently than we have been, so uh, it should be very interesting. Okay, now when I said this is talking about quadratic functions, Everybody should be familiar with what a quadratic equation looks like. A quadratic equation is anything um, that comes in the form of like ax squared plus bx plus c. Now if you'll remember when we did things like this before, we worked on factoring them. Um, they were, if they're set equal to zero, we could go ahead and solve for x. But it was this squared right here that made it uh, be called the quadratic. Um, you remember the quadratic formula that you use to solve quadratic equations? I don't, if, I don't know if you guys remember that or not, but that was um, x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. That's the quadratic formula because it works on quadratic equations. Okay, so if we remember what a quadratic equation is, well, if we're going to call it a function instead of just an equation, then we're saying it's a very special kind of equation. It has to pass that vertical line test in order to make it a function. Okay. So if it's a function, then we can use this special f of x notation. So here is our quadratic function form. And all quadratic functions will come in the form of f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c, something that we should have seen before. Now the very interesting thing about all of these is that they all kind of make the same picture. Uh, this should be very familiar to you because this is part of our library of functions. This is that um, f of x equals x squared, the square e function. So this is what it looks like. Now, notice that it's this nice u-shaped graph. Well, here we have another um, quadratic function. It's an x squared, but notice that it's also this nice u-shaped graph. Now there are translations at work here. Um, if you'll remember those translations that we did before where we added something or subtracted something to the end and it raised it up or down and we could move them left and right by adding or subtracting inside. There, there are a bunch of translations at work here. We've taken that normal x squared, and we've scooted it over and scooted it up, made it skinnier. It's harder to see those translations in this quadratic form, but they are there. If we had it in the proper form, we'd be able to read those off. The most important thing here to realize is that every single quadratic function is going to be some u-shaped graph. Then because of translations, it can be moved up or down, left or right, it could be much skinnier or much fatter, or it could be flipped over because of the reflections. And we're going to talk more about these quadratic functions in the next few lessons.